Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Local 23 You're joining me for Rules of Engagement, Book 1, Chapter 15, Greek Getaway. Now playing as Katie. You've just picked up your purse and are on your way off the boat for your day with Leo when you spot Douche Trent arguing with a crew member. Katie, there you are! Finally! I need your help! What is it? This crew member will not leave me alone about my paperwork! Now we're paperwork? I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am, but you and your fiancé's ex fiance. Oh, okay. Your travel visas for Cordonia and Turkey haven't come through. If you want to enjoy the excursions we offer in those countries, you'll need this for... Can't this wait until later? I have somewhere to be. Must be some hard date you're meeting to get your acting so snippety. Trent? I love how I added his name. That's none of your business. Yes, he's very hot. Much, much hotter than you. Like that matters. You're wasting your time, Katie. Do you really think guys you're dating will want to marry you after one summer? I know one of them does, but really... Can I do this tomorrow? It can take up to two weeks to process the papers, so we should send this out immediately if you don't have the right visas. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad, Katie. I don't mind staying on the boat if you don't. Where's the paperwork? I fit it out for you. And Trent has already signed. You just need to print your name and sign here and here. Hand you a pen and a clipboard with a paper on it. Glancing at it, you notice the document is written in Greek. You try to read it when Trent puts a hand on your arm. Look, Katie, I'm sorry about what I said, okay? I'm sure other people want to marry you. Is that what you wanted to hear? The truth is, I miss us. Are you telling me that you don't think there's anything left here? For you can answer. He moves in to kiss you. Slap him. Before he can get close, you slap him in the face. He stumbles back. Oh, ouch, Katie! Did you just try and kiss me? Are you insane? Yeah! I've got to be out of my mind to keep going after you! Then it'll be easy to leave me alone. Angrily, you sign the documents and hand the clipboard back to the crew member, who rushes off with it. I mean it. We're done. Maybe you didn't find some sap who wants to marry you, Katie. But you'd be a fool to do it. I mean, it's barely been a month. How well do you actually know this guy you're going out with? That I know he's better than you. Just because I cheated on you once... Yeah. Once is already too many times. At least with me. You know where I stand. Warts and all. Yeah. And you're all warts. Stay away from me, Trent. Fine, I will. Enjoy your date. He walks off, leaving you troubled. I wouldn't be troubled. You finally walk off the boat to find Leo waiting for you at the dock. Oh, there you are. You said you'd only take a few minutes to get your stuff. I thought you changed your mind. I got held up. Leo sees the look on your face. Something wrong? It's just... Hmm. That I don't know what our plans are today. Max said something stupid. About? Why I'm bothering to go out with a guy I barely know? Oh. I know the answer to that. I'm very handsome. He winks and you laugh. That must be it. Forget him. You said something about a legendary beach. It's better if you see for yourself. He takes your hand and you walk off the port towards a strip of shops winding along the beach. He leads you to a place where you can see the Mediterranean stretch out before you. Wow. You take a few steps excuse me, a few breath, deep breaths of air, inhaling the smell of the sea and taking in the view of the water. It's so incredibly beautiful that I can't believe it's real. Is the water warm? Only way to find out. Let's go swimming. I didn't bring a swimsuit. I don't see the problem. 
if this is a ploy to get me out of my clothes, it's not working. I can see there's no reasoning with you. Well, there's a shop on the way that'll do. It points out to a stand selling beach clothing. Take your time. I'll change into something myself. It heads off as you browse the racks of clothes. You pull out a black bikini and a floral purple bikini. This purple one is really cute. And how often do I actually get to splurge on myself? I'm sorry. Mmm. I'm not seeing this one. <laughs> Why do I feel this one's weird? Like, she naturally doesn't have long hair like that. Like, eh, I'm not, I'm sorry. No, hell no. I just am not feeling this one. D tell me I'm wrong. I'm just not feeling, like, the hair. I'm not, what the hell happened here? I'm going with black because, one, I'm a gentleman who loves black. Um, black, blues, reds. Mmm, pink has its place. Black, though. Swimsuits or lingerie. Mmm. I like it. Change your dressing room a few minutes later. This looks pretty good, I think. I'm sorry, why are you frowning? That looks beautiful. It'll do. Really? I'm gonna throw something. If a woman approached me with that, and she was on a date with me, and we were on the beach... Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna... Yeah, that'll do, that'll do, pig! I mean, what?! You turn and see Leo, walking up in his swim trunks. Ready to go? Yes, please. Leo leads you on the path, and soon you find yourselves on a beautiful beach. You walk along the shore, where the sea meets the sand. This is gorgeous. And not a tourist in sight. How is that possible? The trail leading here is covered with brush, so very few make it all the way out. I completely miss that. You really do not know all the best places to go in Greece. I know my way around. Did you grow up here? Huh? I just remember you saying you were from a small island nearby. I thought this might be it. I did say that, didn't I? No, I'm not from here, but I wish I was. Life would have been different, that's for sure. Suddenly stops, looking down at the sand. What's up? Kick something, looks like a bucket. He reaches out and pulls a toy pail that was half submerged in the sand. Hey, I used to have one of those. My Nana bought these sea sets for me and my brother and sisters, and we each had our own pail and shovel. We'd spend hours just digging holes or burying each other or building sand castles. Sounds fun. You've never did any of that stuff before? It wasn't how I grew up. And you say I need to live more. I'll leave it up to you. What should we do? You know, a date doesn't always have to be sexual or oriented that way. Bury in the sand, build a sand castle with you. It'll be fun. We can build our dream home together. You and Leo take turns using the pail to pile up sand. If you didn't grow up here, where'd you grow up? In a place that's very beautiful. And now we're talking about. Oh, liar, liar, pants on fire! That doesn't answer the question. And you've been avoiding answering it. Which leads me to believe you're a spy? You're keeping a dark secret. You're imaginary. You're a spy, really? You're keeping a dark secret. I have one, but it isn't very dark, I'm afraid. Leo, there's many things I don't know about you. But the more time we spend together, the more I want to know. Believe me, Katie. I want to tell you, but it's better if I don't. Isn't that up to her? Hmm. Okay. What's something you can tell me? 
I have a younger brother. An answer at last. What's he like? Do you get along? He's six years younger than me. And he's always trying to prove that he's stronger and smarter than I am. That must be tough. My siblings and I never have really been competitive. We definitely needed each other after what we went through. You busy yourself pushing small rectangular windows into one of the towers of your sound castle. What happened? Our parents... They're gone. I'm sorry. It was a long while ago, long enough that I barely remember. My siblings helped me get through it. I've never had that kind of bond with my family. Honestly, I've spent most of my life trying to get away from them. Everything with my family is rules, rules, rules. On my own, I could go wherever I wanted, do whatever I wanted. Leo stairs at the sandcastle you've built together. Look, there's a little balcony where we'd watch the sunrise every morning. And here's the expansive rose garden where we'd have our afternoon tea. Oh, he does not look happy with that. You're scowling. You don't like it? It's beautiful. I just... I've never liked castles. They remind me of presents. And you're the kind of guy that hates being tied down. Hey, if I wasn't that kind of guy, I would have run to you in Athens. And I wouldn't have found out about a secret cove near this beach. A secret cove? I used to come here with some of the locals when I was a teenager. Get drunk, have bonfires on the beach, and that kind of stuff. I could show you. It's beautiful. There's a great view. It's pretty secluded. Leo leans over and kisses your neck. Leo? Take me to this secret grotto! I think I'll stay here. If that's alright. You can go if you want. It's a date, really. Experiencing with you is half the fun. I wouldn't leave you. Besides, we should get changed and head out. We don't want to be late. For what? For the most spectacular show on the island. After changing, you and Leo hike from the beach up a hill leading to the top of the city. Here it is. He pulls you over the crest. The best spot on the island to see the sunset. I hate to say this, but there's a huge fence in the way. That wasn't there the last time I was here. It's okay. We can probably see the sunset well enough from here. Don't tell me you're going to let a little fence stand in your way. Is that exactly what fences do? Nah, not this time. We're going over it. We are? We are. In one smooth motion, he runs and jumps up on the fence. He easily scales in and drops down on the other side. Now, are you coming? Or I have to come back over and get you? You take a running leap and start to climb up. With your arms burning, you reach the top. I need to pull myself over, fall off, panic. Pull myself over. You expertly pull yourself up and drop down on the other side. That was easy. I knew you could keep up with me. As you settle down to Leo, you see the sky beginning to turn a brilliant shade of pink. Okay. I admit it. You were right. This view is amazing. It's criminal that they try and block this area off. This view should belong to everyone. I think you're right. In a literal sense, it belongs to the person who owns this property. It should be just for us. I think you're right. You know, I love... I just love hearing you say that. How did you know about this spot? It's... kind of complicated. There you go again never giving me a straight answer. You're so secretive about your life. I don't even know what your job is or where you live. My job isn't me. 
Where I live isn't who I am, and you know everything important about me. Ah, uh, sometimes I feel like I've known you forever, but then I realize that I hardly know anything about you. Is that so? You, you know I ride a motorcycle? Anyone who's seen you driving knows that. You... I... Do you know I know my way around Santorini? Yeah. But I still don't know why you're so familiar with so many of the people and places around here. Leo takes your hand in his, pulls you close, so he's looking deep into your eyes. How about this? You know that I'm falling in love with you, Katie. You love me? Well... I love how he brings up love to divert from the fact he's not answering any of the questions! I love you too. I think this is moving a little bit too fast. I bet you say that to all the girls. I can see why you might think that, but I've never said those words to anyone before in my life. Oh. There's... There's something I need to tell you. What is it? I love how she just drops this bomb on him. For my inheritance, my Nana left a very particular set of instructions in her will. Is her... Was your Nana Liam Neeson from this line? Holy shit. I... I actually need to get married by the end of the summer. Married? I know. It's crazy. I should have told you sooner. You're probably right around the world. Nah. I know it's crazy. Leo laughs. Get me work, Katie. I thought this was gonna be something bad. But we've only need, known each other a few weeks. Don't you think this is crazy? Of course not. But it's so fast. When you're the right person, the time doesn't matter. You have so many years, and during those years you have so many minutes, and you have millions and millions of minutes in every lifetime. But how many of them do you actually remember? How many of them really stick with you? You spend so much time maybe brushing your teeth, or waiting in line for a drink, or stuck in traffic. Too much time. Did all those moments mean anything? Or were they just getting you here, to this moment? The times in your life that actually matter, the memories that haunt you, the experiences that change you, all the things that make you who you are. Those moments don't take years of or lifetimes. Those moments happen in seconds. Holy shit, are you deep right now? The first time you see a person you'll spend the rest time of your life with. The first time you tasted ice cream in the summer? That sunset you saw in the sanatorium with the guy who just said he loves you? Leo... These are the only moments worth anything in the end. It's not the amount of time you have together, but how that time changes you. You've changed me, Katie. I want to be a better man for you. Leo... There are... Sometimes I need to take care... Some things I need to take care of before we can... Be together, but... Before Leo can say more, you hear some shouting near the fence. You turn to see the police! You there! Trespassers! Oh no... Stay right where you are! You're under arrest! What will happen to Leo and Katie now? Find out on the next chapter! Uh, run? Run! Run! Run for the love of Christ, run! <laughs> Well, I hope you guys really have enjoyed that. I thought that was a real twist. I... Wow, Leo got deep. Um... So... Speculation? Speculation time. Something tells me, especially since he hated the castle, felt like prison, he's not really willing to divulge anything about his past in the aspect to his parents and his childhood and things like that. And also the fact that, um... 
he just really got upset, and you feel like maybe he was part of, like, a rich family or royalty, even, um, and they had probably this whole divine path for him that, um, pretty much he was set on. That's probably one of the reasons he acts the way he is, and he, he probably just got away from it all. He needed to, I mean, for all you know, they may have done an arranged marriage, um, or things like that, and maybe the guy just wanted to live a life of his own, and I kind of understand that. Um, so that's my speculation thus far, as for what's going to happen in the next chapter. They're either going to run, or they'll get caught, and they'll say they didn't know they were trespassing. I don't know. Or he'll say his name, and they'll be like, oh, shit, sorry, you own this property. <laughs> um, something like that will happen. Um, remember, folks, we have already done Love Hacks. We've done Freshman Book 3, Yes, the Thought, Oh My God, Endless Summer Book 1, we've done, and now Rules of Engagement. Next up, we'll be doing Crown of the Flame Book 2. So if you did enjoy the content, remember to like, comment, and share. Also, subscribe if you're not already, but also, please feel free to head down to the description below. There is social media outlets. If you have Facebook, if you have Twitter, things like that, you can follow me or like my page. And pretty much every time one of these videos will go live, um, instead of hoping that YouTube and their algorithm of bullshit will show it to you or notify you, which is not always the case, and also YouTube has been unsubscribing, unsubscribing people from channels that they've even been subscribed to for years and still watch to this day, Cough, cough, bullshit, YouTube. Um, the best case scenario is you just keep up to date with me on social media. So just thought I'd share that with you as well. Also, keep in mind that if you are a Walking Dead fan at all, Walking Dead Season 3 now is up on my channel, at least Part 1 or Episode 1, um, all the parts of that. Episode 2 will be coming out hopefully sometime tonight. Um, it depends on how late these run and how long it takes me to upload because like I said I got Crown the Flame next and um, we're two diamonds once we finish this from finishing we'll finish, start this luxury getaway so people are like what are you saving your diamonds for um, and yeah so remember until next time folks have a good one